Hello YouTuber! We're getting close to Christmas here and that's why I put on this weird thing here and also uh, the reason why I've just decorated my Christmas tree as you can see in the background. Um, I thought that uh, I would do two videos about Christmas records and I've done Christmas record videos before but it is well, it's so long ago now, so I thought, well, okay, time to repeat oneself and maybe add something new. We'll see. Uh, the first, um, I thought that I'm going to make two videos with uh, five uh, Christmas records in each video that has, that has meant a lot to me and that I like very much. And uh, I'm going to make one with Swedish Christmas records and one with international Christmas records and I'm going to start with the international five records that I like to play at Christmas time uh, and I think that none of these are any major surprise to anyone because these are all very famous records and there's a reason why they are popular because they are good first of all the Queen of Gospel, Mahalia, Mahalia Jackson. Christmas with Mahalia. I think it's from 1968. Uh, I bought this. Well, on a whim, I think, from some sort of vinyl record sale in the early 90s. Because, well, I knew about Mahalia Jackson and I had started to become a bit curious about her singing. And then when uh, I saw that she uh, had this um, vinyl uh, album, this Christmas album, I thought, well, why not? So I bought it for almost next to nothing. And it's been one of the most played Christmas albums ever since. Um, it is an album with um, it's arranged and uh, conducted and orchestrated by Marty Page and we have some well very lovely famous Christmas songs like Oh Holy Night, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, Silver Bells, uh, White Christmas <clears throat> and yeah other lovely Christmas songs from the time. Anyway, uh, this uh, is one of those that has followed me from my home when I was a teenager. Uh, and uh, even though I'm not a die-hard gospel fan, uh, Mahalia Jackson is one of those uh, gospel voices that I never grow tired of. And this is a great Christmas album. Well worth having in any uh, record collection. And... She made other Christmas albums too, or there are many albums available with Christmas music with Mahalia Jackson, but this is my particular favorite. Then the next one, a fairly obvious choice, I think. Most of you are aware of these. This, it's a Christmas gift for, for you from Phyllis Records, or as it was later called, a Christmas gift uh, from Phil Spector. And I think you have seen later ver variations where it's called um, uh, the Phil Spector Christmas album. Anyway, we have um, the Crystals, the Ronettes, Darling Love, and Bobby Sox and the Blue Jeans playing Phil, um, Phil Spector. Um, arrangements on um, well famous Christmas songs. Uh, my favorite on this album is Frosty the Snowman with Ronettes but then I'm a great fan of both um, the Ronettes with Ronnie Spector and I have a mm, I have a weakness for that silly song Frosty the Snowman. It was recorded in Swedish by the young girl called Monica Lind and it was called Snögubben Froste I recorded on a 78 RPM back in the mid 50s. And that is one of my favorite 78 RPMs with Christmas music on. I'm not going to talk about that today. It's all about vinyl records here. 
So, this is from, I think, 1963, and I mean, 55 years later, it's still an amazing Christmas album. Um, Phil Spector, gone, well, still alive, but let's be frank, gone for most of us, but still, the music, this music holds on, keeps us wanting more. Right, and... This is, I know, most of the other records I've shown here are um, vinyl albums, but I'm going to show you a maxi single. I bought this as a 7 inch single back in 1984. I think many of us did. I'm talking about Band Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas. And this is the 12 inch, um, the 12 inch maxi single, 45 RPM single. With the whole uh, pop and rock elite from United Kingdom, um, or from well, from Great Britain back in the mid '80s, um, and one of the truly great Christmas songs. So, uh, there's a reason why this became so successful. Uh, it is a really superb song, and I've liked it. I've loved it since I heard it back in the Christmas of 1984 when I first bought it on a 7-inch single. Okay, and over to a record that has been in my possession since my 11th birthday. I got it as a <clears throat> birthday gift from my uncle. And it is, I've shown this many times. Elvis Christmas album, Elvis Presley. <laughs> German pressing from 1985 or 84 perhaps um, of the original 1957 Christmas album. Uh, this is a record that has been played many times. I think I think I played it every Christmas since then. Uh, and this is has a very nice green vinyl, as you can see. <clears throat> also. It has a nice photo album. Yeah, this was issued um, Elvis' 50th anniversary. That was 1985. <clears throat> Had he been alive, he'd uh, been 50 years old. Had he been alive today, although some might suggest that he is, he would have been 83. My goodness me. I mean, lovely pictures. And uh, a record dealer. Uh, that I met told me that this is this issue is quite sought after not just because of the green vinyl but because of all the these nice images it was a luxurious uh, issue back then and uh, one that has been very dear to me since and I'm still playing this every Christmas I mean Elvis Presley are already stated many times he is the king and this is one of the best Christmas albums. Right, all of these have been with me for, um, yeah, I think for 25 or longer, 25 years or longer. But the last one that I'm going to show you that has climbed up, climbed up, and now is among my favorite Christmas albums is It's a Holiday Soul Party by Sharon Jones. And the Dap Kings that I bought in 2015 and I've been uh, it's it's one of these albums that I have to listen to every Christmas as well my favorite song is her uh, rendition of please come home for Christmas that I think is both tear-jerking and heartbreaking and it's so sad that she couldn't stay longer and sing some more for us Sharon, uh, Sharon Jones 
This is also, even if it's not that super important, but it's a bit fun. Lovely red vinyl. Thus. And uh, yeah, it shows that they can still be great Christmas album. They can still be made great Christmas albums. Um, even though, to be quite honest, I can understand why some people get really, really annoyed and really, really bored by all the Christmas music that keeps uh, being played on radio, on TV, on the stores, everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I really feel for those who are working in retail stores of different kinds of st selling stuff, having all this Christmas music be being played. Uh, all day, all day, all day for several weeks. I, I can, I can, I can relate to that. Uh, so, but I don't. I, I'm listening to maybe a couple of Christmas records every Christmas, and then nothing more. It's better to uh, pick the really good stuff and play it once and enjoy it, than to try to pick as much as possible and play it all the time because then you'll sell, you'll get you, you I mean you'll go nuts if you try to do that right so that's the last one I'm showing you this video five records international Christmas records to be quite honest they were all Americans no 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 not band aid that's that's great Brit that's uh, British but British and American uh, so I'm sure there are lots of great Christmas albums from other countries as well, but these are the ones I picked. Okay, thank you for your interests, Merry Xmas and so on, and bye for now.